Hi, this is Ashwini. Uh, welcome back to the Spring Security course. In previous video, we have discussed this diagram and we have understand the relationship between all these components, right? So what is the agenda of this uh, today's video is we're going to discuss each and every component in detail and we will see like what is the like code mentioned inside that particular interface and classes and we will uh, try to understand each and everything in detail. Okay, so let me first open this user detail interface and we're gonna see what it does mean about and how it going for to perform with the spring security framework right yeah so here is user detailed this is an interface as we have seen in diagram so let me open this we have this user interface user detail okay user detail interface have some abstract methods let me close all these things from here yeah we have get authorities so whatever the authority associated with your user we have get authorities get password get username is account expired is account non-logged is credential non expired is enabled so we have all these abstract methods right so we have seen this method here also so what we have discussed in previous video is suppose i want to be give my own schema definition then i need to be use this i need given an implementation of this user detail interface right yeah so let's suppose my application is very small application i don't want to give my uh, schema definition okay so i need i'm happy to go with whatever the default implementation is spring uh, security framework is, is giving to me so we have one implementation class for this user detail interface that is user as you can see here what is a this document what is the comment is written here that is c this spring framework dot security dot core user detail dot interface for a reference implementation okay so let's go inside it this is a class which is implementing this user detail and giving all the implementation for whatever the method present entire inside this user detail interface okay just forget about this we will talk later in uh, upcoming videos we our target is user detail okay yeah so you can i, I want to uh, just uh, put a more focus on these variable names like password username whenever you are giving your implementation of user detail do not change the name of this variables because whenever spring framework is up and running it will try to check all these uh, variables if you change the name of the variable it will throw an error or it will not take your configuration okay we will check that also so it is uh, giving implementation and it have a cons constructor this is a user constructor okay and you are passing a username and you are passing a password and whatever the details you are passing and only here i need to be pass username and password and rest of things like uh, mention automatically here by default true rest of things like account expired or non logged it true means like yeah account is not expired okay we have one more constructor here where we need to pass all of the details and we need to set account is expired or not or it's logged or not okay so as you can see here username password enabled we are passing each and everything and we are making our user object uh, implementation of user detail right and we have all these uh, setter getter methods here like uh, we are getting all these things like get authorities and get password and get username whatever the abstract method present inside it we are giving an implementation here right yeah so in this user detail in this user class one more thing we have we have builder whatever we are doing here let me show you the code uh yeah we are doing this user dot with username right so let me show you this method so let come here what is the user is yeah as you come down you have seen more lot of other methods here with username so with the help of this user class we are calling this username and what this username has spring builder like sorry user builder right it has user builder and why we are using user builder to build our user detail object or user detail class like right? for building object so inside it we have different different method like with username so as you can see in a code what we are writing with username right so we are calling like spring builder with the username and we are passing a username here okay so in code also we are doing the same with the username admin we are passing so let me go to the now builder class so we have this builder class also and here we have one method that is build 
and this method also available in your user, uh, user class let me show you uh, user class at last as you can see build on top of that it have built so as you can see here user username password authorities and build so this is a one way of creating your user object right and another what is another way we have seen here in implementation class you just call this particular class interface sorry particular class constructor and given username and password automatically all things will be like true and you will get your user object right so this is a uh, second way of doing the same similar kind of thing uh, whatever we are doing in here code right so this is all about the user detail we will see other component in other videos till then take care bye bye